you actually have mentioned this, it's not just the Cold War, it's World War II that populates most of uh, their thinking in Washington. You mentioned Churchill, Chamberlain, yeah. and uh, Hitler, and yeah. they kind of, seeing the World War II as the kind of the good war and the s successful role the United States played in that war, they're kind of seeing um, that dynamic, that geopolitical dynamic, and applying it everywhere else still. Yeah, it's a template for everything. And I think it's of huge significance to the development of the West, to the civilization we live in now, to, to world history, it was a world war. And so I think it's worth knowing a lot about and being honest about and, and all the rest, but it's hardly the sum total of human history. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a snapshot. And, and so you keep hearing people refer to, not even the war, no one ever talks about the war. Like what, how, how much does Tony Blinken know about the Battle of Stalingrad? Mm, probably zero. Um, doesn't know anything. Largest battle in human history. But I mean, he knows nothing. But he knows a lot about the cliches surrounding the 38 to 40 period, 1938 to 1940. And everything is kind of expressed through that 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 formula. And, and not everything is that formula. That's all I'm saying. And the Republicans have a strange weakness for it, particularly the closeted ones, the weird, the weird ones who were like, have no life other than like starting more wars. Everything to them, the most vulnerable, I would say, among them, um, emotionally, psychologically vulnerable, the dumbest, they will always say the same thing. And it, it appeals to Republican voters, unfortunately, that every problem is the result of weakness. Everyone's Chamberlain. Like, Germany never would have gone in to Poland and Czechoslovakia if England had been stronger. That's the argument. Is that true? I don't, I don't know, actually. Maybe. It might be totally true. It might not be true at all. I really don't know. But not everything is that. That's not always true. If I go up to you in a bar and I say, I hate your necktie, I'm being pretty aggressive with you, pretty strong. Mm -hmm. You might beat the shit out of me, actually, or shoot mm -hmm. me if I do that. Like, mm -hmm. an aggressive posture doesn't always get you the outcome that you want. Sometimes it requires a more sophisticated Mediterranean posture. I mean, it kind of depends. It's a time and place thing. And uh, they don't acknowledge that. It's like everything is this same template. And I just, that's not a the road to good decision-making at all.